Should Manchester United sign Crystal Palace winger Michael Elise? In this video, we'll be talking about why Manchester United might sign him, what he will bring to Manchester United, the price, the fee, and what 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 a player he actually is. We'll be talking about um, will Eric Ten Hag utilise him in the correct way? Will he get the most out of a player like Elise? Now, listen, going into the summer window, it's clear and obvious Manchester United are in need of a winger. With Anthony exit on the cards, Sancho ever looking likely to leave, Martial looking uh, evidently to leave. It's, it's time Manchester United get a new winger in. And Elise is touted to be one of the best, hottest prospects in um, likely to join Manchester United. Now, Manchester United, what is the price of Michael Elise? Now, last season he was reported to have a £35 million release clause. Now, he's being rumoured from ESPN. Obviously, he signed a new contract since. That release clause has now gone up to... 50 to 60 million pounds and i still think that's a decent size decent price for a player like michael elite um he's a great player but we'll be delving into deep deep that but let's talk about the price so 50 to 60 million pound for a winger his premier league proven is absolutely brilliant for me i think manchester united should be should be eager to get a deal like this i think Ineos have obviously identified him as the player that they want going forward and the player that they they need in that that attacking department obviously eric ten Hag will have a say in that decision, but I do think he will look to sign Elise. I mean, Amy, he does suit the Manchester United brand of football, and there's rumours that he actually is a Manchester United fan. Now, with Elise, he's slot into that right wing position for Manchester United. Um, and listen, he's got loads of experience. He's played at Reading, um, obviously Crystal Palace. Like he's he's got a lot of experience, and the Premier League experience will certainly help a player. As I said, he's kind of he's kind of what we expected from Anthony, but. He can actually deliver what Anthony can do on a regular basis. He looks to find himself in tight spaces where he can pick up the ball, carry the ball and create chances for other players around him. And he's a very, very unselfish player but knows when to be selfish in making the right decisions. With a player like Elise, he's true, he truly added great quality to Manchester United and make sure that we are a very, very consistent team attacking. With his, invert, and with his ability to invert, his ability to put in crosses, um, he truly is a great, great player for Manchester United to add and a great addition to the squad. Um, as I said, he's very, very smart. He knows what to do. He knows when to go wide. He knows when to come inside. And his performances at Crystal Palace since joining them have been absolutely fantastic. Now, they are... I mean, I talked about when I was doing the video about him, the interest in Manchester United, about his injuries. Now, I've actually did a bit of research about injuries. He hasn't actually missed that many games due to injuries and he's only had one hamstring injury. So, listen, when signing players, you obviously have to look at the injury records because that's something key. I mean, you're not you're not going to want to sign a player who's only available for that 20% of the games. So, so that's why Manchester United will, will go for a player like Michael Lisa. He's consistently available. Um, he has a very, very good quality um, and his ability is fantastic. Now, let's look at the benefits of signing a player like Michael Lisa. He's very, very direct. He's similar to Rashford, but he's, better, he's more technical than Rashford. He can play in tight spaces, get on the ball quickly. I mean, create things, and that's something that Manchester United need. I think on the left-hand side, we have got a kind of selfish winger in a Rashford and a Garnacho, and even Anthony, um, other players, that they, they are the selfish wingers who can play that position. And then on the right, you need more of a creator, Ahmad, um, and Elise is a perfect example for that. And that's the sort of profile, in my opinion, Manchester United need at the current state. Um and Elise was certainly add to that. I think the quality that he shows, as I said, a very, very good free kick taker. I mean, he scored one against us, was it last season? Um, in, to kind of draw the game for them. He's he's very, very good at things like that. Um, as I said, he's sound defensively, knows what to do out of possession. And that's something, as again, Manchester United wingers have been have been talked about for not doing the basics correct. And Elise certainly does do that in a great, great standard. Um, and that's something that Manchester United need. A player can do everything. You look at Anthony, Ahmad, they all have faults in the game. And I'm not saying Elise by any chance is the perfect player. But he has everything in proportion and he does everything to it to a great quality. Um and yeah, I would I would I would love to have him um at Manchester United. Now you may look at the drawbacks of getting someone like Michael Elise. With any with any signing, it's not guaranteed to work out. Yes, you can say that it's Premier League proven and that does high in the chance of it working out at Manchester United. But you never know. Um, big Premier League players have obviously failed at Manchester United over the years, so there's no guarantee that the signing may work out. The second thing, he might not be guaranteed to start with Eric Ten Hag kind of having favourites, which has obviously been evident. 
Would he be able to get a start? I mean, he's relatively young. He's 22. Would Would he be able to get a start at Manchester United? I I do certainly think he, w he would be able to because only because he's you would you would bring him in to start him. He's not kind of a player you would bring in on a rotational basis. But if we were to bring in a winger like him, I'd hope he can get started quickly and have an instant impact at the club because we will we all need his standards and we will need his quality. As I said, we're trying to get a winger who can kind of create chances for our striker and kind of take us to that next level in terms of ultimately creating chances. You look at the current wingers we have, Rashford, the selfish winger, same two as Garnacho at times. We just need someone also with Elisa here be able to provide chances for Rasmus Hoyland and that's something that we've needed. We barely create any chances for Rasmus Hoyland at the minute um, and he finds it so difficult to to kind of get goals and that's something that Elise will try to provide. His ability to go outside, inside and put crosses in is absolutely tremendous. So this has been kind of a scout report on Michael Elise. Let me know what you think and should Manchester United sign him? For me, is 100% a yes. Let me know what you think. Leave a like. Thanks for watching. Peace.